Okay, so since this was the red carpet for strike a pose, I'm gonna strike my best pose. Are you ready? I'm gonna put the microphone down. Here we go. That was so ghetto, but I loved it. <laughs> you all good? You did? Finished? He's like, you give me. So tell me, what, what made you um, do this film? Well, we, we both saw Truth or Dare uh, back in the day, 25 years ago, and we loved it, and we saw it over and over again. And these guys, the dancers, made such an impression that we wanted to get back to them and see where they are now and, and what happened to them. But yeah, I mean, it was really b basically an audition, you know, and then I got to go back out and do the Girly Show tour, and that was an invitation, and, you know, I ran the auditions for that show in L.A., and uh, the rest is history, and here we are. Yeah. Mr. Carlton, you know I can't let you go by in this fabulous jacket without you striking a pose for me. You got to do at least one, honey. Okay, I'm going to count you in. Three, two, one. Ow. <laughs> Ow, work. <laughs> audition, and I went to the audition, and I got it. Me, actually, me and my brother went, and she had to pick one of us, and she picked me. Uh, I auditioned along with every, the other five or six thousand people that did and made it through to the very end except I didn't get it and I you didn't get it I didn't get it and I well I got a couple weeks a couple weeks later I got a call from Christopher Ciccone and he offered me the job of associate choreographer which I had no idea what that even meant but I said yes I did you know now though don't you know now. we got into rehearsals we got into the Vogue video and then they ended up they ended up firing one of the other dancers and she hired me as a dancer Okay, that does it for the Strike a Pose red carpet here at the Tribeca Film Festival. Catch us on day three. Love, peace, and hair grease. Bye.